Welcome to the Coach's Corner. This is Steve Levy. This week on Coach's Corner, we have head men's soccer coach Pete Karinji. And Coach, let's uh, talk briefly about last year. Uh, the good news was, for the third straight season, UMBC made the America East Conference Tournament. Um, the tough news is, you know, I know you, you never want to lose your last game of the season to an America East Conference foe like, like happened with Hartford. As you kind of reflect back on last season, you know, what are your, what are your thoughts? Oh, we had mixed feelings. Uh, you know, really, the beginning of the season, we had a nice little run there. We uh, we were playing our, some of our best soccer. Uh, unfortunately, we had some key injuries at the end. We had some players thrown out. Uh, I think we lost a little bit of our game at the end, and uh, you know, it just at the last at the end of the season, we just didn't really play our soccer. And then we had some things that we just couldn't control. You know, when you have key players out of the game at the end of the season, we had whether it was yellow cards, injuries red cards, um, these are things that we probably could have controlled early on, but uh, we were just disappointed how the season ended. We move into this year, and I counted 19 of your 25 guys that are out for practice right now are in either their first or second years with the program. That's a rapid turnover from your team two years ago, which went to the NCAA tournament. Uh, a lot of new faces. How's it going out there You know, in the preseason? Well, I'm really excited about this team. You know, we have lost a lot of players. I think when you look at the starting lineup from our team from two years ago when we went to the second round of the NCAA tournament, we have Liam Paddock and Pete Karenji are the only two starters, and Liam right now is uh, out because of an injury. So uh, that's a big turnover, but I'm excited about the new players. I'm excited about the direction that we're going in with the program. Um, but, you know, it's just a matter of getting them out there now and playing. Coach, uh, I know a stat that had to drive you crazy last year, knowing your, your background is the goal scoring was, was, was well down uh, from the previous year. Um, how do you resuscitate the offense? So what are you looking forward to in, that, in those respects? Well, I, I think, you know, as probably the most disappointing part of the season last year was the, the lack of goal scoring. Um, we had some guys that had prior history of scoring, and, you know, when you get to them big games, you got to have guys that can step up. I think teams had to scout it pretty well in the American East conference and you know they did a good job of stopping our, our goal scorers um, but you need to have more than one goal one goal scorer and I've always said that um, and last year I think they, they did a good job of scouting us and taking us out of our game. Now here's here's a great uh, number for you. You obviously started at UMBC in 1991. Uh, your son was born a year after you started at UMBC and now he's going to probably be the offensive leader of this uh, men's soccer team. Talk about uh, PD's development as a player, and you know, will he be the offensive leader for this team this year? Well, I think you know he's developed. You know, he he was born and raised here. At, to, for lack of a better saying, he was here um, from the beginning, and uh, you know, he's got a lot of passion for the game. He's trained hard. You know, will he be the offensive leader? I, I think we'll have a couple players that can really help him. I think that will be uh, more diverse as far as who can score goals than we were last year, and that's what I'm excited about. So. You know, he'll be one of the players that we'll be looking for. And he's had some experience now, and he's had a nice little college career. But he's got to go out and prove it every day like every other player. As we turn to the defensive side of the ball, you, you mentioned Liam, obviously a three-year starter, uh, one of the captains for this team. So he's going to solidify your, your back area once he gets healthy. And then the other interesting thing is Phil Saunders coming back. Uh, redshirted last year as Dan Luisano had a brilliant uh, run here at UMBC. Uh, talk about those two players and what you're expecting from those two guys this year defensively. Well, I think their experience. You know, Liam is our captain. He's our leader. Liam's the player that uh, we'll be counting on to, to, to lead in the back and, and be the inspiration defensively. Um, Phil had a great first two years, and actually we had the luxury of having some of the best goalkeepers, as I was quoted as saying, um, in the country at that time. You know, now it's Phil's team. It's Phil's in the goal. Um, he had a great summer of playing for in his PDL team, and I'm expecting big things out of both of them. Coach, uh, finally, you open the season with three straight home games. We kick it off on the 25th against Radford. Uh, then it's VCU and Robert Morris that come in right after that. Um, you know, I know you're probably not scouting until you're, you're scouting the next uh, your first scrimmage against Rutgers. But you know, talk about having those three first games at home and what kind of a level of opposition you're going to face in those three teams. Well, I think the opposition is going to be very good. I think the level of the teams that we're bringing in this year for home games is at a high standard. Um, you know, as you said, you know, right now we just really have taken it a day at a time, a game at a time. We're anxious to get out on the field. We're going to be scrimmaging Rutgers on Tuesday. They're a nationally ranked team. They're very good. And we just want to see where we are. We have a lot of new players. 
Um, I think, as I told the team, this, is a, this will be a team that will be a lot better in November as we continue to go through the season. Um, as a team, we're going to get better. We get hopefully some of these guys that are injured early in the season back. Um, and I think we'll be a very dangerous team at the end of the year um, as the, if these young guys continue to develop and, and evolve as players. Thanks, Coach, and uh, certainly best of luck in the early going. This is Steve Levy for UMBC Coaches Corps.